I love you. You know what? I come in with all three of you every time. You bring me my joy. Mm -hmm. Come on. In all this craziness. Mm. Oh, it was dehydrated. Have you ever been dehydrated? Yes. One time in Africa. <laughs> Multiple times. In Africa? Yep. Is that hot over there? That's why you sleep in your room. Yeah, we're waiting for the Thank you, baby. Oh, Thank you. Are we coming back to the green room? Um, yeah. as far as I know, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's what I'm You can come back. I'm coming. <laughs> 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 I don't know if it's just a channel Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Um, can you there we go. All right. Um, You can put it on the bra like this and they can clamp it in the bag. Exactly. Okay, good. Well, I'm in, I'm about to do my conference, so I'll hit you back in about three, uh, for about an hour. I'll be done. Okay, boo. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay, bye. Would you mind moving your hair so we can reach out back here? Yes. <laughs> yes. I like all this kind of stuff, getting mic'd up. That's the best time by part of my job, <laughs> getting mic'd. It is. I like when they do that. I just feel important. Like I got something to say. Testing. 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 I got a lot of foolishness. It's a lot of foolishness. Yeah, Myrtle. Put this in that camera. Yeah, it's not too bad. It ain't too bad. Most I want to make sure we try to aim it a little more. I think that's good right there. It's a good start. Let me just take a listen to it real quick. Doe a deer, a female deer, ray, something from the sun, right? Is that how it goes? Something like that. Close enough. I can't remember. We'll go with your heart. My memory just keep going each, each year. It's probably all the Xanax when I'm flying around on the plane. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, always. Wonderful. We'll have you on stage then. Okay. Can you give me a bottle of water at that chair Thank for you, baby. No problem. I'm sorry. Excuse me. It's not fully packed in here because everybody's still hung over from last night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that it's not so packed because I can have an intimate moment to share some things that I made. And it's, are we live streaming? Yes. Oh, um, I don't know. But I don't know how intimate it might get. But, you know, <laughs> I can, I'm able to share some things that have been, like, really going on in my spirit and, like, really what's been going on with me, you know, for the past uh, year so far. Um, 
Yes, for everybody out there that, that, that does not know me, I am T.S. Madison, honey. I'm an American yeah. television personality, an internet sensation, honey, an internet <laughs> icon, and you know, just an influencer over popular culture, you know, and, and that's, that's uh, if you want to challenge that, honey, mm -hmm. listen to some of the lingo that you listen to now. It was definitely highly inspired by T.S. Madison, honey, you know, mm -hmm. step your pussy up today, mm -hmm. tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, you know, I want to say that uh, this past year has been very busy for me, like very, very, very extremely busy for me. And I remember maybe five years ago, six years ago, hell, even 10 years ago, I remember me, you know, really thinking like where, where in the course of my life am I going to be, you know, when people ask you the question, where do you see yourself in five years? Where do you see yourself in three years? Where do you see yourself in 10 years? Where do you see yourself? And I say things like, oh, well, I'm, I see myself wherever, wherever God puts me. Because that is that is most definitely, like, that's my answer. Because I don't know really where I see myself. Hell, I don't know where I see myself tomorrow. Where the check at? That's where I see myself. <laughs> but to be in all honesty, this year has been a very, very, very busy year for me. Um, uh, Zola came out. Uh, was it this year? Was it Stephen? Was it this year? No, Zola came out last, last year. This is a bit. Yeah, this, this has been very busy couple of years for me. <laughs> but this year, I've had the opportunity to like, really zoom in and sit back and think about uh, lots of things. I know Zola came out. Um, the T.S. Mass experience came out a year before he died. Um, it's coming back though. Okay. All right. Yeah. Television show in my name. This okay. executive, executive produced by me. Yeah. Um, uh, that's big for a trans person, especially now, you know, this, this day and age. But, uh, uh, Bros is I'm coming out September 30th, the movie from Universal Pictures that I'm in. Um, I don't know when the perfect find is coming out on Netflix, but you know, that's coming out. Gabrielle Union's movie. Ooh, um, like, I've been working, working, working. Um, other projects that I can't say because, you know, I'm under contract and I can't speak about it, you know, that, 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 that's coming out next year. But this year, for some strange reason, I have really, with all the accolades and all the things, like my Fox Soul talk show, the things yeah. that, I, that I said that I wanted to have, like all the stuff that has been going on, I can honestly really say that I still feel And it took me a moment to really get to that space to say, to tell myself that, you know, Madison, you know, you really feel, you know, what I used to do for a living back in the day. I've had such terrible uh, relationships with, with men. I see men, um, let me take a seat, because this is going to get long, the way I see men. <laughs> I see men as a, I've always saw men as a, as a form of, uh, of compensation, because I'm like, you know, I, and working so much and not being in the space occupying uh, sex work and stuff, because that, that was my original background. And once I got on a new trajectory in my career and in, uh, you know, my career, I, I, I left that alone and I, my mind frame really started to change. And I started to really think like, you know what? I don't really see, well, I do still see men like that, God. But don't, but God okay, God, I'm going to be honest. I said, I'm going to be transparent here. Okay, you hear me, God? Okay, don't strike me, all right? All right. <laughs> we got an agreement, God. Um, I'm not going to say I don't see men as currency or, 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 it's just that I was not focused in that space. And here's what I want to tell y'all. A lot of times, the things that we say that we don't want, we really do. We really honestly we really, we really want companionship. We really want somebody to share our, our, our lives. And we really want someone to share our, our personal space. We really want to come home to somebody and talk, talk to them about our day. And we want to go on vacation. We want to love. We want to do these things. And for years, that was something that I pushed to the side. And I didn't even, that was, I wasn't even thinking about manifesting. I was like, girl, I don't want no man. I don't need no man to do this. Girl, don't, you know, girl, I need me to do it, to have a little fun, whatever. But I think when I turned 44, 
this year, stuff just like really started changing around like for me with that. And I started apologizing to the universe, to God, to, to what, to the higher authority, whatever it is. And I started saying, you know, God, you've given me so much stuff and you've given me so many things, but I didn't ask you, I didn't really, really ask you for a personal life. To remember that when God has put you on an assignment to do what it is that is necessary for the betterment of the people or for whatever, what he, whatever assignment he's placed you on, there are also other things, other entities, other forces, and other people that are assigned to distract you from that. <laughs> Whoa, I'm about to cut the therapist off, honey. Talk about that. You know? Yeah, and it's just like there are other things that have been assigned to distract you, to move you, and, and because to, de to deter you from what it is that you need to do. And even in that statement of me saying that back to myself or me hearing that back, I still say, like, well, God, if this is the case, well, will you assign somebody or assign me someone that that really is there for me, really loves me, really is in the situation for me, really wants to, you know, uh, uh, grow with me, that really wants to help me on this assignment, you know? And then there's silence. And then, there, then, then there's silence. And, you know, for, for the past few months, it's just been like, I don't want to talk to my friends about it because I don't want to hear my friends tell me, girl, you need to do this. Uh, girl, you need, girl, you know, because your friends will talk to you about things like they've never been in these situations before. Mm -hmm. And they'll talk to you like, well, bitch, if it was me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it has been you. <laughs> and the gag is that it will be you. Right. <laughs> but in this moment, I don't, I don't need that. That's not something that I need. You know, I just need pouring back, you know, into me, you know, good pouring back into, girl, you got this. Right. Bitch, you will get through this. Bitch, you will overcome this. Bitch, you will, I, bitch, I'm, I'm a, so, bitch, we'll whoop that motherfucker ass if we got to. Bitch, you'll get, you know, but this, but not just like scolding me or, or, or as, you know, grace, girl, you know, I don't want to call anybody out. <laughs> <laughs> My makeup artist, but I don't want to call that. <laughs> <you know. laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> All right, you did good. Um, but it's just like there's things, you know, that I'm just like going through in my personal life right now. Just it's a lot of stuff that I'm I'm really dealing with. And if if we're gonna go by the theme unapologetically, us, we have to go by it. Because I've been unapologetically T.S. Madison for the past 15 yeah. years yeah. on the yeah. internet. Unapologetically. I got on the internet and said, whatever I feel, however I feel it, whenever I feel it, this and the other, whatever. I've given out advice. You know, I've stood on that stuff. But, you know, right now, I am unapologetically having a human experience mm -hmm. right now that is really, that's right. that just really shaking, you know, my walk a bit, <laughs> yeah, and I've been, and I just want to be Madison, and just give that, and, and not just be the T.S. Madison anymore. Um, you know, you go through this stuff, and, and you put on which none of the things that I put on is fake for the world. Like anything that you've seen on video, television, anything, it's none of this stuff is fake for the world. But there are things that I cannot give to the world because, you know, it becomes a weapon against me. They, they use it as a weapon. And I was talking to a, a, a girl the other day, and I said, the space in my life where I am at right now is very hard because as my star grows and my light grows and shines, there are more bugs being attracted to that. And the biggest fear for me is not failure in this life, because that's not what's un under the design for me. The biggest fear for me 
right now, in this current state in my life is, do you love me or do you love me? That is the biggest, it's just the weirdest feeling because I've lost friends, I've lost management, I've lost makeup artists, I've lost people that I felt were very close to me, you know, because I'm a Libra and I love love and, they, and, and the devil never comes to you as your friend, he always comes to you, I mean, he, he never comes as your enemy, he always comes as your friend. And when you're in a space where people absorb so much stuff from you and absorb absorb your life, you know, you just want to have, you just want to be really loved. And I've seen people do things to, against me on the internet, videos and things that they thought they were exposing, ex, exposing on me and all this stuff. And I'm like, but you, you could sat around me, you ate my food, you were in my home, you were with my family, from, from staff, from men. Most definitely men, because it could be the one laying right there in the bed with you that would roll over and slice your throat, you know? And so I say that now, right now in my life, I'm really trying to sort through do you really love me or do you love me? And as LBGTQIA people, We have the entire world already against us for us living in our authenticity and living in our truths and you know walking through uh, uh, being unapologetically us. You know when we get into our confined spaces with the with the very few and limited people that we're around, we really want to know: Are you there for me? Are you really there for me, or are you really there for what I can do? Are you really there for me? I says, I am so scared because it's new. am I gonna be alone? <laughs> am I going to be alone through all of this? Like, am I gonna be forever in fear of someone out to get me, you know, when all, I, all I'm doing is, you know, just following whatever the assignment is. Today, I got a phone call from a very big influence, well, not, they're not the influence, but they're a very big person in our community, very huge person in our community, and I'm not going to reveal who the person is that called me today, but I can talk a little bit about what, what our conversation was. Um, when they called me, he said, Auntie, I want to talk to you. I haven't, talk, I haven't spoken to anybody else about this, but I want to talk to you because you know, you've been in this for a while. And I, my advice to them was this. I said, protect your energy for one. Two, you have to make sure that your surroundings that are around you are, are truly there for you. And you know you don't know if they're truly there unless your gut, your gut, your spirit. You have to listen to your gut and to your spirit. You also have to understand that when you are on divine assignment, which took me back all the way to myself speaking to myself, when you are on divine assignment, there are other things that are assigned around you to distract, to deter, to really destroy that assignment that you're on. And if your assignment is, is as great as it's supposed to be, and, 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 and you get those little signs to let those people go or to move those people, you ain't got to worry about it, because God going to move them people out of the fucking way. Yeah. You, 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 you may be over there trying to hold them, but God going to say, okay, so you ain't going to do it here. Go, boom. <laughs> you got that right. Because you going to do 
what it is that I called for you to do. Yeah, they're right. And I do know that, you know, lots of us in our, in our community are, 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 I think we're all anointed, but lots of us are, are called to do things because only we would know how to do those things. Only people that, that, that would navigate or gravitate to us because they have, we, we have that certain mm yeah. that may not, you know, get through to other people. That's why, you know, for me, I'm never jealous when I see other other trans women rising or other gay men and things rising in the community because each one of us that are, that are in that rising space, we have our own assignment that we have to do. Right. Because, right. you know. This is our time. It is. And here's the thing, like when I look at Laverne, I respect Laverne. I admire Laverne. I've always admired and respected Laverne. And, and, and I felt like that she was such an articulate speaker. Hope, Angelica, uh, Hope, yeah, Hope Giselle, mm -hmm. Angelica, um, Janet, like all of those girls are so articulate, articulate and speak so well. But every time that I have an opportunity to work with them or communicate with them or whatever, they say to me, Maddie, it's just something about the way that you deliver the thing that people you know, understand. It's just raw and, 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 and green and, and this, and the people get that from me that we don't have, that, or I don't have that to do. And I say, okay, this is why we all have different assignments. But I wonder, are they scared? I wonder, are they scared? Hey, Ray, now, now I'm out here shopping for two or three million dollar homes and you know, stuff like this. And, and, and even in all of that, I'm so scared. Yeah, your mama loves you. I got my mama, she loves me. My mama loves me to death. I can talk to my mother about anything, you know. But in my family, but I don't think they, they would get it. Because, you know, they always say, well, you can come talk to me about anything. You can, yes, but I'm talking about, you get it, Victor, right? I do. You, you, you I understand what I'm saying, you, you know. You know, like it's just it's so it's it's, it's so scary. They can't yeah. get you like the, the like our community gets you. Yeah, and I'm so at this place and point in my life, I am really having a human experience because I am so scared. I'm like, damn, are you waiting to to stab <coughs> in the back? <coughs> are you waiting to pour some? Are you are you trying to get some tea? Like even um even. A person that you lay in the bed with and sleep with at night. Mm -hmm. That is scary. But the reassurance that comes to me is that whatever it is that I'm supposed to do, it will get done. Whether these people are in my life or not, whether they whether they trickle off. Because when you when you when you when your tree is growing up like this. Things like stay on the ground. There's things that stay on the ground, and it's the stuff that go up with you, you know. And I just have to keep my eyes focused, you know, heavily and deeply, deeply on that. And I ain't want to come here and bore y'all with my personal feelings and stuff it. like that or whatever. And I hope I ain't told y'all too much. <laughs> <laughs> but looking at me, would you ex would you think that this is the stuff that was going on? As much as as much as videos that I put out or. or or laughter or fun, or you see this headline coming out with T.S. is in this, and she's in this movie, and she in this show, and she this guy, she has this, this, you know. Um, I can't, baby, my vision, baby, what is it? I'm so glad, that's good, mama, that's good. Hi, baby. I have a question. Hmm? Um, I don't know, I just, I oh, guess, I guess I would, I guess I would just, there <laughs> I, I guess I would describe myself as Q and LGBTQ because we're not really represented. Mm -hmm. So I, <laughs> it's like I don't know. I don't. I just don't know where to find my voice sometimes. And as a person that is trying to find myself, it's like um, trying to cut. I. First of all, I'm Blue Rock Eyed Ink on Instagram, Ink I N K with a K, um, like Ink 
you write on paper. Mm -hmm. And I woke up paralyzed 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I went from a wheelchair to walker, yada, yada, yada. And I wear braces once a day. So the point is, I'm trying to reinvent myself. So I went back to college for a second time, become an audio engineer. And now I am got songs out. I'm the world's first um, physically challenged. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm in New York at, at a dinner really fast. Are you good? You okay? Okay, bitch, I'll be I'll be calling when I get home because I, you know, I, I get, 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 I I want to say a, a thank you to Dominique and the Oka Girls, honey. You know, we need to put together, we need to put together a singing group called Dominique and the Oka Girls, honey. And then, <laughs> Dominique and the Oka Girls. And I just come out and be like, ladies and gentlemen, bring it to the stage, Dominique and the Oka Girls, honey. Yes. Yes, God. Uh, Mo, so we're about to eat. I need you to go over there and get the food, and then I need you to get everybody's at, so then when we do this on this vlog that you can have, you know, when you do the edit, that you put everybody's uh, thing down there at the bottom, please, because okay. you know you you must be professional in all things you do. Definitely. Even in Africa. I'm gonna open this when I get home. I don't wanna do it in front of folks. I feel like you said it's wrong. It's wrong. No, it's wrong. Oh, I'm trying, I'm trying. <laughs>
Sunday. After hours. Bitch, I can, uh, bitch, I can tell you. Not on Sunday. I can tell you I ain't been to a church until. That's how you get it. Baby, the, head, the air was out and I was in there 100 degrees. That's how you get off. In a late front. That's how you get the place. That, that's, 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 that's ministry. That's ministry. Yeah, come on. The way, the way, <laughs> the way Eric and I are.
I just pulled it up. I was like, oh, girl, I already know I'm following. Like, I was like, why? Well, I don't be knowing nothing. Shit, I just be on here going. You know? And so we'll communicate. Send me that shit. Will he send you the picture? Send me that picture. Because I want to post that. Oh, yeah. Let me send you. I want to post all my pictures from the night. Jehovah Jehovah See, they went right to her. Okay, down there. Good. Oh, I'm on there. Now send me the Tell him to send us send you that picture. Okay. I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna send you all the pictures. She wants the simple ones. One that James sent her. He just left, but I was just letting you know which which one she's talking about. Walking in the pathways of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, giving honor to God from this red wine in my hand. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Give me a nasty piece of photograph oh, yeah, yeah. with Madison. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's giving real tigers. <laughs> <laughs> Get a portion of photograph with my sister. Thank you. Uh, uh, I like the that Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> There's no board again after that.
Y'all need to come down there and let me speak at y'all church. Absolutely. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> come down there and speak to the church. Oh, listen, listen. Eyes have a seat. <laughs> yeah, and ears have not heard. All of the blessings. All of the blessings. There's not a fall over me. Ha <laughs> ha 